This is how to set up the Vario sensor with an X-Series receiver and Tyrannus running OpenTX 2.1.8. Uh, when the Tyrannus, when OpenTX changed to the uh, 2 version, uh, all the telemetry setup changed. So you sort of have to redo it. Alright, so we need, uh, I've got a little 5 volt battery pack there, we need the telemetry lead. So I'll just plug that in. Plug into the smart port of the Vario. So I'll fire up the receiver there we go now before you even connect the Vario you can do some setting up of the Vario functions uh, and if we go into radio setup long press of the menu button there's some variometer functions here and the volume of the beep the pitch of the beep at zero the pitch at maximum and the uh, frequency of beeps now we'll go to the receiver or the, the receiver setup or the Vario setup in the model. Go to the telemetry page. Now we have to discover new sensors in OpenTX in OpenTX 2.0 and onwards. That's so you don't get too many extra variables that you don't need to um, sort through. So we'll discover new sensors, and it's it's already discovered the um, Vario the altitude, vertical speed and other normal built-in sensors for the receiver as well. Now we've got some setup here as well for the variometer. Uh, the source you can choose altitude or vertical speed for um, giving you the information. I want vertical speed. You can choose the range that the beeps happen over. You can choose the center portion as well. You can choose to have a tone, or you can have it silent, which is what I like. With each sensor that you set up in the Tyrannus, or on OpenTX, you have uh, further parameters you can select as well. If you find it in the sensor list here, uh, press enter, and then there's all these other uh, adjustments you can make. You can choose the unit you want, meters, feet, whatever. Uh, precision ratio and offset, I've never touched them so I don't really understand them. Um, and you can select whether you want it included in the logs or not. And yes, we definitely want altitude included in the logs. So I'll go back to vertical speed now. And we can choose the unit again, meters per second feet per second, kilometers per hour, whatever, meters per second I think. And we also, do we want that included in the logs? I might as well. Yeah, so that's ticked, so that will get included with the logs. Now to make sure the logs are recording, that little symbol there shows that the logs are being recorded. And I have it set up on my uh, throttle safety switch and I've done that in global functions. So that's in the radio setup. Go through to global functions. Now these global functions apply to all models across the radio. So it's not individual models, it's everyone. So I have the SD logs being recorded if the throttle safety switch is turned off. I also have the volume on the slider on the right and a couple of tracks that tell me that the throttle is safe or the throttle is armed. Now to set up the actual sounds so that you can hear them you have to assign them to a switch. So we go across to special functions and set up switches to allow the Vario sound and the altitude spoken. Alright so choose a switch, I like the D switch in uh, the middle position and I will choose uh, play value, play value there. Now I'll choose altitude. There we go. And I'll have it saying the altitude every five seconds. That's how I like it. So now when the D switch is in the middle position, it'll say the altitude in meters every five seconds. And when the D switch is in the down position, I'll have the Vario beeps. It's 
So we choose Vario, there it is there, that's all you have to do. Now in the Vario setup in the uh, uh, model telemetry screen, if you choose uh, Tone instead of Silent, then you're going to get that beep all the time. And that drives me crazy and drives my friends crazy too. 12 minutes. So I like to have the silent, uh, silent in that band there. Uh, so that's minus, between minus 0.5 and plus 0.5. You can change these parameters too, meters per second. I'll change it to the tone. Minus 0.5 meters. And I'll show you what changing the tone value sounds like. So the pitch at zero, let's change that. Let's go higher to be really annoying. And the frequency too, you can don't know why you would want that. Anyway, there's some of the parameters you can change. So let's try the volume too. Get really, really annoying. Lots of fun to play with. And I can also set it up to have those values on the telemetry screen as well. We do that menu, long press to go back to telemetry, choose numbers. Oh, there we go, we haven't. Alright, so I'll put maybe. Nine the, minutes. One under put the maximum altitude there. There we go, that's the maximum altitude reached between uh, resets. Just have the normal altitude here. The current altitude there and vertical speed. Alright, let's have a look at that now. So long press to get the telemetry. So now that's the maximum altitude reached. This is the current altitude and I'll move the uh, there we go up to 0.6 meters down to actually let's just zero that so it's a long press of the enter button reset telemetry and it's reset Ten minutes. so I'm lifting the vario up dropping it down uh, let's do minus 0 0.4 meters now lifting it up 0 0.7 meters and down again minus 0 0.1 meters a lot of fun now I'll do the vario sounds now that's uh, not moving up or down so there's no sound I'm moving it up now you get higher beeps moving it down and you get a lower tone there we go